Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking more about Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Leaks. Again, nothing that spoils anything from the game, just more things that you probably want to know about before purchasing the game. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, we have this bit of bad news here, tweeted out by Keizo. And this is confirmation that we have an invisible 20 minute timer in Pokemon Battles. So, for whatever reason, they introduced 20 minute timers, which is just stupid because battles take longer than that. You know, competitive battles take longer than 20 minutes, especially 6v6 because you have to do your damage calcs. You have to just kind of actually think about your plays and everything like that. So a 20 minute timer is ridiculous. And in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl, it doesn't even show you how long you have left until the very end of the game where it says the battle will end in 59 seconds. So you don't know when the battle is going to end until the last minute, which is ridiculous. I don't understand why they put this in the game. It is the dumbest feature. I, I, I can't comprehend it. It's so stupid. It kills competitive. And it's just, it's just pointless. Why? Why have they put in a 20 minute timer? What does it bring that's good about the game? Like nothing at all. So yeah, this is a massive kind of, I don't know, L really for Ilka to, to kind of implement this in the game. They've clearly been told to implement it because why would, they, why would anybody do this out of their own kind of reasoning like it just makes zero sense but yeah if you are a competitive player and you want to get into battling and stuff for pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl i got some bad news for you you're gonna have to make some quick decisions every game because yeah the, the 20 minute time and the fact that you can't even see it as well like you don't know if you can do certain strategies because you don't know how long you have left of the game until this pops up in the last bloody uh, minute of the game saying oh yeah by the way the game's about to win so it makes it unfun because so many people can just bring blissies and just stall and just bring stall teams and stuff like toxic stall teams like you gotta think because it takes 60 seconds to have like you can, you can spend 60 seconds on a turn so if you were just going to toxic stall someone you would toxic which would take 60 seconds and then you'd protect which takes 60 seconds and then you could like i don't know recover or something that's like three minutes of gameplay and there's been three turns you know like you could be re you could really be that kind of pokemon trainer and just ruin it for everyone else but yeah massive l for po uh, pokemon brilliant diamond shining pearl introducing this i don't understand the the reasoning in the slightest but it is unfortunate so yeah not great for the competitive scene in brilliant diamond and shining pearl uh next up we have this uh so this was something i kind of mentioned in the latest trailer for pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl and it's this diglett mini game um i didn't know what it was i just saw this random diglett pop up during the trailer and this was tweeted out from Poke Experto, and yeah, apparently it's a mini game. So it says the mini game of capturing Diglett from Pokemon Sword and Shield, which is obviously on the Isle of Armor, appears to return in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl in the Sinnoh Underground. Now I don't know if it's like a race to see who can catch the most Diglets, which would be pretty cool because they've obviously gotten rid of Capture the Flag as much to my horror. Um, but yeah, introducing new mini games like this could be kind of fun. Uh, and clearly there seems to be racing towards it. So I'm guessing it's just like how many Diglets can you collect before everyone else, before the time runs out or something. It also says 31 out of 40 here. I honestly have no idea what these numbers mean. I really want to know what they mean. Um, but yeah, that's a cool little, I guess, little mini game um, has popped up. Hopefully it's like a race to see who gets the most and it's not just like a race to see how many you can get together. But um, yeah, a nice little mini game in the uh, in the underground. Something that's very interesting about this though is something that this, uh, this well the Chinese Riddler tweeted out, uh, Nihilego, tweeted this out a while ago saying, answer time, riddle two of BDSP. I really don't enjoy catching Diglett, though this time you don't need to do the 151 stuff, just a boring mini game feature. So this is something they tweeted out a while ago, basically saying that that like, you. Um, they didn't enjoy catching the do like the catching the 151 Diglett or whatever, which was a reference to the Isle of Armor, and that was a riddle in regards to this mini game here. So this guy legit like knows this stuff, and he's basically put like loads and loads of riddles out there and leaked loads of stuff like the Steel Gudra and stuff like which now kind of has more of a reasoning to be true because that all of this is becoming true. Like they got the Hisuian Zorua stuff right, 
they got the uh, they got the Jasmine thing right. Um, they got the Diglett thing right. Like they're just getting all these things right now. The games are being leaked and, and everything. So yeah, maybe we are going to be seeing a Steel Dragon type Gudra in Pokemon Legends Arceus, which would be kind of cool. But yeah, I just wanted to include that in the video. Coming up next, we have this to go over. Uh, let me just translate this bad boy. So this is how you actually obtain the Platinum outfit in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Uh, so Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Mystery Gift Details. So it activates at the Jubilee uh, City TV headquarters, talking to a character on floor 3. And then the internet reception or password, you can receive Pokemon, items, clothes, money, and statues. So yeah, that's how apparently you get this Platinum outfit. You have to go and talk to a character on floor 3 of the Jubilee, uh, Jubilee City TV. Um, so yeah, just some more information there about Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Again, this isn't a leak. This is just confirmed information that's come out. Uh, coming up next, we have this to go over, uh, which again, if you didn't know, uh, basically when Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl drop on Friday, you will only be able to have a maximum of two, uh, of two players who will be able to fight or trade in the Union Room. So there will be another update in the future that will allow more players to join. Again, this update may include even more things, could even include details on that mythical Pokemon um, that uh, we mentioned in yesterday's video. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, another bit of an L here from Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, just the Union Room not being available straight away. Uh, we also have this to go over as well. So more information from, or information from the official support page the functions greet and decorate capsules will also be added in this update. Possibility of making exchanges through the GWS in Jubilee City and then use of the Colosseum feature at Pokemon Centers. Um, so yeah, all of that is also coming in this uh, next update. But it wouldn't surprise me if even more updates happen like through the future of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So that's all the BDSP stuff. Today though, I also wanted to take a look at this, which is potential rumors and leaks regarding what Pokemon we might be seeing in Legends Arceus. Um, so this was a post on Dexerto, it was posted on the 8th of November, and they titled it, Every Pokemon Legends Arceus, Hisuian Form and Evolution Potentially Leaked. So a new Pokemon Legends Arceus leak claims to have revealed every new Pokemon in Hisuian form in the 2022 Game Freak RPG. With only a few months from release in January 2021, there is still, that, well that should be 2022, there is still a lot we don't know about Pokemon Legends Arceus. While the Game Freak RPG is technically a Gen 4 story, uh, origin story, the Hisuian region will offer players a drastically different experience from Sinnoh. One of the biggest changes coming to the semi-open world project is the all-new Hisuian forms. A leak claims to have revealed every single character that is getting the variant, as well as every new Pokemon being introduced to the game. So, uh, has every new Pokemon in Legends Arceus been leaked? In October, a prominent leaker by the name of the Chinese Riddler, who is obviously this guy here, which has got pretty much everything right so far that they've riddled about on Twitter, released a collage of images that supposedly revealed every new character that is being introduced in Pokemon Legends Arceus. After it accurately predicted Hisuian Zoroark weeks before its announcement, the Pokemon community rallied behind trying to solve the cryptic tease. Weeks after various trainers worked together, fans SoulSilver Art and Dreadnought posted what they believed to be the most accurate solution to the infamous leaker's riddle. In total, there will allegedly be 17 Hisuian forms and 7 brand new Pokemon that can be found when the game launches in 2022. Keeping in line with the officially announced Scyther evolution Cleavor, it appears that Game Freak will also be giving new evolutions to several other classic mons, if the leak is in fact true. Um, so this is a post here saying these are all like the new Pokemon and then these are all like the new Hisuian forms. And then there's a new discovery here, thanks to the lovely person giving us an Asian look at Ku's riddle, this uh, person wanted to remain anonymous but info here are their quotes and I'm 99% certain I know what number 7 is and possibly number 5. Um, so basically, these are all, all the alleged new Pokemon and evolutions in Legends Arceus. Again, take this with a grain of salt. We don't know if this is true or not, but uh, the Chinese Riddler does clearly have a good track record because uh, they got a lot of um, things right. Um, so basically, every Pokemon Legends Arceus is who we inform a new Pokemon allegedly in, new, in the new game. So, new Pokemon. So, Bashki Legion, we already know is coming. Uh, Cleavor, we already know is coming. Weird Deer, we already know is coming. And then apparently there's going to be an evolution of Hisuian Sneasel, which is Poison Fighting. We're getting an evolution of Hisuian Quillfish. And then we're also going to get an evolution of Hisuian Ursaring. So these aren't Hisuian forms. Uh, these are just evolutions of the, the Hisuian form. Like, um, I don't know, like, uh, wait, what Hisuian forms had an evolution? I don't know. Um, I guess Cleavor. I mean, it's not Hisuian Scyther, but yeah, it's just like a brand new Pokemon. Um, so anyway, these are the new Hisuian forms. So Braviary, we already know about. Zoroa, Zoro, we already know about. Growlithe, we already know about. Arcanine, which is kind of, you can guesstimate that we're going to be seeing an Arcanine. Electrode, Hisuian Voltorb, Hisuian Sneasel, which is going to be poison fighting. Hisuian Quillfish, 
Hisuian Basculin, which is going to be Water Ghost, Hisuian Sligu, uh, and then Gudra, which is going to be Dragon Steel. Lilligan, for whatever reason, is getting a Hisuian form, and then Avalug as well. And as you can see, a lot of these Pokemon are like Gen 5. Um, a few are Gen 1, and then there's like the odd Gen 2 Pokemon thrown in there as well. Uh, we also have Star Revolutions as well, getting Hisuian forms apparently. So Hisuian Typhlosion, which is going to be Fire Ghost. Hisuian Samurott, which is going to be Water Dark. And then Hisuian Decidueye, which is going to be Grass Fighting. Interestingly, many believe that this post Sneasel evolution will be the mysterious climbing mount Pokemon that leaked when the game was announced in February. Of course, take all this with a massive grain of salt. Although the Chinese Riddler appears to have proven track record, there are ultimately the guesses fans have made based on the hints the leaker has given to the community. So yeah, this isn't something that like the Chinese Riddler said. He's just kind of posted the collage and then people have made, I don't know, kind of accurate guesses, I would say, at what all these kind of collage riddles are for these new Pokemon in history and form. So yeah, thought I would include that in today's video because we haven't really spoken about Legends Arceus in a while because Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are so close to coming out. But it's an interesting one for sure. I hope you enjoyed the video regardless. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we covered in today's video. What are your thoughts on these potential new Pokemon? Uh, subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. That's everything from me though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.